I have a friend who has had a couple of really bizarre synchronicities. He told me about a series of bizarre events that happened when he was young. This is his story about two hitchhikers and his yellow van. Mike, 20 years old at the time, drove a bright yellow 1966 Ford Falcon van. Driving around the East Coast, he would pick up hitchhikers since he was frequently a hitchhiker himself. During spring break in 1976, Mike took a road trip from New Jersey to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He tried to sleep in his van the first night that he was in Fort Lauderdale. But instead of getting a good night's sleep, he was arrested by the police and taken to jail. He didn't realize it, but it was illegal to sleep in a vehicle in this city. When he was released in the morning, he met a guy named Winsong out in front of the jail. Winsong was also in jail for sleeping in a public place. He had no car and hitchhiked all over the country. Winsong lent Mike some money to pay the fine and get his van back from the police. Then they met some people who let them sleep on their hotel floor during the nights. Mike had money wired to him and he paid back Winsong. The new friends all decided to hang out at the beach. On the first day, a Monday, they went to a deli to get food. Winsong realized that he knew the cashier. The cashier had hair halfway down his back and a full beard. The guy worked in the deli and was also a hitchhiker and Winsong knew him from hitchhiking. Both he and Winsong hitchhiked alone all over the country and by coincidence would randomly run into each other. This meeting at the deli was another coincidental meeting between Winsong and the deli guy. On Wednesday at the beach, Winsong said he wanted to leave his backpack in Mike's van. He said he'd meet them at the same spot in a day or two, and then he took off. Mike had no idea what Winsong's plans were and didn't hear from him. For the next four days, Mike and the others hung out at the same beach, but Winsong didn't come back. Mike went to the deli and asked the deli guy if he had seen Winsong, to which the deli guy replied no, he had not. Mike didn't know what to do with Winsong's backpack and sleeping bag. The deli guy said that he didn't want them. For Mike, it was time to head back home. He couldn't wait for Winsong any longer. So Mike drove his bright yellow van home with Winsong's backpack and sleeping bag still in his car. He felt bad about it, but he didn't know what else to do with Winsong's possessions. About six months later, Mike was returning to New Jersey from Boston, about a thousand miles away from Fort Lauderdale. Mike was driving from New York City and had picked up a hitchhiker during the trip. They reached a Y in the freeway where the hitchhiker was going south and Mike was heading west. Mike pulled over in the breakdown lane to let the hitchhiker out. They had been in the middle of a conversation and continued talking for a minute or two after stopping. After they finished their conversation, the hitchhiker got out and crossed the freeway. As Mike started to pull out and get back on the road, he heard banging on the back end of his van. He stopped to see what the noise was and wondered what the heck was going on. A man came running up to the passenger side window all out of breath and started yelling, I know you. I know you from the deli in Fort Lauderdale. It was the deli guy, Winsong's hitchhiker buddy from the Fort Lauderdale trip. Mike didn't recognize him at all as he had cut off his long hair and facial hair. He looked clean shaven. Mike was utterly surprised to see him and told him to hop in. The deli guy told Mike that he had been robbed of everything 
on the streets of Brooklyn the night before. The thieves had taken his backpack and all his money. He had nothing left except the clothes on his back. The deli guy told Mike that he had been sitting under a bridge by the freeway watching the traffic and wondering what to do. When all of a sudden, he saw Mike's long blonde hair and bright yellow van drive by. And then, in amazement, he watched as the van stopped a couple hundred feet up the road. The deli guy said to himself, I know that van! and he began running toward it as fast as he could. He reached the van just as the hitchhiker had gotten out and Mike had started to pull back onto the freeway. Mike ended up taking the deli guy home to his parents, where they fed him and Mike's dad gave him some money. Mike also gave him Winsong's backpack and sleeping bag, which had been in Mike's van the whole time. Mike drove the deli guy back to the freeway, dropped him off, and never saw him again. Mike said these coincidences or synchronicities changed his life and put him on a lifelong quest to uncover the true nature of reality. What are the odds that Mike would run into one of the hitchhikers six months later and over a thousand miles away in another state? What are the odds that the deli guy would be on the exact same part of the freeway at the same day and time as Mike? And what are the odds that Mike would stop right at that spot, close enough for deli guy to catch him? I think the odds are astronomical, if not impossible, and yet it happened. What do you think? Have you had any amazing synchronicities or strange coincidences that have made you question reality? I would love to hear about them in the comments or send me an email. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this content and want to see more. And as always, have a fabulous day in this strange paranormal world we live in.